Don't be a fool. Cryptocurrency influencers make way more than cryptocurrency traders. I'm pretty confident that that is true. I mean, if you're making these sexy ass thumbnails, you gotta be making money. I have a trading group and I've been a cryptocurrency influencer for a very long time. Been it, done it, done all that. Experience. I'm not reading a book, this is experience. Having social currency is the closest thing to a superpower. And if you're shy, don't worry because there's so many influencers that are completely anonymous and they're not doxxed and no one knows who they really are. So you can gain influence without even showing your face at all. Social currency is basically influence currency. There's a monetary value to a brand's followers, likes, comments, shares, and views. Investing in cryptocurrency and accumulating Ethereum at three to seven dollars is probably the smartest thing I've ever done in my life. Developing a YouTube and a cryptocurrency brand was the second smartest thing I have ever done in my life. And I'm willing to bet that my social currency will likely make me way more money in the long run than my actual investments. Yes, my community is more important than money. And I just wanted to say I love you. I love you so much. If you really wanna change the world, money only goes so far. You must have the ability to get people together to activate your cause. You can call it influencer all you want, but what I call it is modern day leadership, okay? I'm, I'm leading large amounts of people, which again, is something every organization on planet Earth has to basically do eventually. And I got good news for you. You don't actually have to be an expert or know cryptocurrency to a high level. You just have to aggregate high quality information. It's actually easier than you think. I know this for a fact because I had someone working for me called Noah Pros, and his TikTok is now at 98.8K followers. I also coach Marty that has a TikTok following of 57.1K. They've been viral multiple times. Johnny has 43.8K followers, and I grew this Anora channel that you guys have been seeing to approximately 5.6K followers. You should follow all of them in the description below. But we've been able to predictably do this over and over again. And although it's hard, it's probably easier than anything else you're currently doing, I promise. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make money in any market, anywhere you want, anywhere in the world, from the comfort of your own home, a laptop, or a phone. You don't even need a laptop to become an influencer nowadays. And I'm gonna show you step by step, no detail left out, like classic style of all my videos. Now I'm gonna start it off by giving you a small warning. Although it's easier than other things that you could potentially do, it's still gonna be hard. Nobody is going to support you. It's gonna be difficult and it's gonna take longer than you expect. But if you compare it to becoming, I don't know, like a doctor, which I make more money than a doctor, or if you can compare it to a four-year degree and then working your way up in a company, it's much easier to make 100,000, 200,000, a million dollars becoming a cryptocurrency specific influencer than anything else, in my personal opinion. It's still hard, but it's easier than any other road. Anything worth it or sought after, it's gonna take you more than a couple of days, more than a couple of weeks. It's gonna take you months, in some case, years. So please, Please think of the long-term, stop thinking of short-term easy stuff. Success is walking from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. This is a quote by Winston Churchill. And yes, you will fail over and over again. Not only will you fail, but you will fail publicly. Now, depending on if you're anonymous or not, uh, this will hurt, but you get the point. Don't think that just because you do it for a couple of weeks, it's gonna work. It's gonna take a long time, but if you do it right, it will pay off. So sit down, relax, get a cup of coffee, get some water, subscribe to the channel and share this with another friend because it would be much easier for you if you get a group of your friends involved and trying to actually become an influencer than you doing it by yourself. If you have other people holding you accountable, it makes it 10 times easier. Leave a comment below who you're getting involved with and send them, just share it to them, send it to them on Facebook, send it to them on Instagram, send it to them on Twitter, share this video so we can get it to as many people as possible, spreading the good word of crypto. That is what we do it for. Also, if you wanna dive way deeper into becoming a cryptocurrency influencer, I'm launching something in the next couple of months called Fundamental Secrets 2.0. This will be the next generation of Fundamental Secrets and there will be a communication section at the end that will dive extremely deep into all of the topics discussed in this video. You can get it for $5 for five days in the pinned comment below. All right, now I'm gonna give you a simple three-step process for you to achieve actual tangible results. But first, let me show you that I actually can get you results. As you can see here on TikTok, 166.2K likes. It's got 859,000 views. Uh, we have another one here at 
9K views. We have another one here at 171.9K views. We have another one here at 235. Like I've been able to do this over and over again. Actually recently I got 1.3 million views on this video in less than three days, probably the most viral thing I've ever done. I've been able to repeat this over and over again. And as a person that actually owns a product, I don't actually spend all of my time marketing. As you guys know from my YouTube channel, sometimes the videos are kind of a little bit rushed uh, because I have other things going on. I have two products, uh, Fundamental Secrets, as well as CoinPix.io that I'm actively managing, okay? and. I've been able to, again, do this part-time and still make it very profitable and very, very successful. Uh, so you could do it too, no matter if you're working a job or if you have a whole company, you can gain influence. And pretty much every big entrepreneur nowadays does this part-time, so you really don't have an excuse. It's not about the timing, it's about the execution. As a quick warning before we get started, please do not use this for evil. There will be people that use this for the wrong thing. They will pump and dump markets, they will promote scams, and they will definitely take advantage of a lot of people. I'll tell you right now, if you spend all your time developing an audience and you start using it for the wrong thing, you will get destroyed, you will get called out, so you might as well just be a good person. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Let's jump into the first one. Number one, there's two things you have to do. You have to find your platform and you have to find your niche. I'm gonna show you how to do both in this video right now. Take notes. Let me explain just a simple pro and cons list for all of the cryptocurrency social media platforms that I think are important. The three are, of course, crypto Twitter, TikTok and YouTube. These are my three favorite. I think it's the best way to grow an audience right now in 2022. TikTok will by far get you the most exposure and followers, but the problem with it is that they don't spend a lot of time with you. If you're trying to build an audience, they typically only spend 10, 15 seconds, at most a minute per video, which is why you see a lot of TikTokers really broke. They're like really popular and really broke because it's just mostly entertainment. Um, and people don't really always learn a lot on a 15 second video with like two tips, right? When you start creating a following, you'll realize that spending a lot of time with your audience uh, gets them to believe in what you're doing more, right? It's like having a friend. Uh, the more time you spend with a friend, the more they believe in you. Another negative of TikTok is that it's a Chinese based app. Now there's nothing wrong with Chinese people. It's just simply that they have a history of censoring and I am actually scared as an influencer to really spend a lot of time on TikTok because they could just take down my content and censor me at will. But to be fair, this is a problem on all social medias. This is why you see Elon Musk, you know, trying to change it on Twitter. Uh, and it's just a problem in general. Uh, so I don't want to be specifically attacking TikTok, but they have the worst history, I would say. Which brings me to the next platform, Twitter. This is my favorite when it comes to risk versus reward. If I were to start from the beginning, I would probably build up my Twitter first and then jump to YouTube and I'll tell you exactly why. Twitter is much easier to get attention around your post by just simply writing something on your phone. You don't have to make a whole video production. You don't have to look good for photos. All you're doing is making a statement and if you know how to write, if you're a good writer, then this is actually even better for you. You should definitely start off with Twitter because again, it's just very easy like TikTok and it's very, very popular in the cryptocurrency community. It's huge. Which by the way, in the future, when you start getting some followers, you should probably do all of them. That's probably really smart, but let's start off with one right now so that we can guarantee the result and then you, you can kind of diversify your audience. This is what I did with YouTube. I started here, but I started diversifying my audience on different social media platforms. The negatives of Twitter are the same thing as TikTok. They don't spend that much time with you, so they're not gonna believe you as much as like a you know long YouTube video, which brings me to my next point. The strongest pro of YouTube is that they spend so much time with you. I mean, some guys watch, and I know, leave a comment below if you watch all of my videos, you spent hours and hours with me. Uh, some of my videos are even an hour long, and some of you watch every single one. I think I have like 600 uh, you know, to today's date. Um, and it's almost like when I see people in person, they know me way more than I know them, right? And this is, again, uh, the byproduct of being on YouTube is that it's just a little bit more intimate and you get to actually see who I am as a person. You can see the authenticity. See, on Twitter, you can kind of fake it. Uh, you can be anonymous. You can't really be anonymous on YouTube. It's the most authentic source of information. But it's also, when it comes to a con, the hardest to pull off because you can't be anonymous on you. You could be anonymous on you. There's a couple of channels that are anonymous. Uh, but they won't do as well, in my personal opinion, as people that show who they actually are. Um, but yeah, I mean, some of the cons are simple. You know, you have to be able to make images. You have to be able to tell a story. You have to be able to write scripts. You have to be able to uh, edit videos. You have, to, you have to be able to do so much more than just kind of learning Twitter. Twitter is an easier learning curve for everybody. And it's, it doesn't take that much to get started. 
But on YouTube, there's a, there is, I would say, a pretty good learning curve. But this is also why it's the most rewarding, in my opinion, and this is also why I think most influencers will ultimately want to get to YouTube, and this is kind of like their big goal because you know it's just the most rewarding. You make the most money, uh, you get the biggest following, people believe in you the most, and I think it's fun. I think it's really fun making these videos and being able to communicate the message in a in a really funny way. Uh, sometimes, you know, in entertainment. Um, and I also think it's just more natural. It's like a conversation, like you can see me and it feels great, man. But yeah, if I were to start over when it comes to picking a platform, I would pick one of the two. I would either pick TikTok or Twitter. I would base it off my personality type. If I like writing more than talking, I would do Twitter. If I like, you know, talking to people more and I'm more of a people person, I'd jump on TikTok first. I would develop a big audience and then I would eventually migrate to YouTube. I think that's the best plan. Uh, so yeah, pick your platform and don't overthink it because you're going to seriously hammer in on this one platform. Just don't overthink it. I think it's really important that you guys understand that you should not be posting on six different social medias, you know, at one time. Most people think that posting more will get you more. This is not the case at all. You have to hammer in on one thing and do it extremely well and play with the big boys. You should have a Twitter account you know, with 50K followers, 100K followers before you even think about a YouTube. And this will take you a long time, three, six, nine months, depending on how serious you take it. But I'm telling you right now, just play one game, focus your attention. There's this whole story I always talk about. You know, if you have a, a flashlight and you go right next to the wall, the light's gonna be very intense and you're gonna see a very strong light. But if you back up, uh, you know, away from the wall, you can see that the light is hardly visible. It's the same thing with social medias. If you try to diversify your efforts in six different social medias, I pretty much guarantee that you will fail. You must make that light very intense so that everybody can see you, okay, on one social media and then start thinking about diversifying. Believe it or not, I have social media managers that help me with a lot of the things I do. So don't try to base yourself off of somebody that's already grown and has a huge following and try to follow exactly what they do because you will get burnt out, I guarantee it. All right, now let's find your niche. You don't need to be a day trader. You don't need to be a scalp trader. You don't even need to be an investor like me or an analyst. You could be an NFT collector. It doesn't really matter. You could just be a personality in crypto, but that doesn't really even talk about any projects. Like there's so many things you could do, um, but it needs to be true to who you are as a person. And the best way I think to do this is figure out who you're currently watching. Who do you currently consume? Who do you resonate with? This is probably the way you wanna go because it tells a lot about who you are. People follow people that are similar to themselves. So if you guys follow me and you like what I do, well, it's probably smarter you get started on TikTok first because I'm like a more of a personality type person um, and then you know move on from there. Whatever the case is, you know, follow and develop a list, whether that's putting it on an Excel spreadsheet or just writing it down. Get a list of like 10 to 15 influencers that you resonate with on your platform. Make sure to pick your platform. Now, what you wanna do is not copy, but remix their content content, right? Look at what they're currently doing. Try to figure out why they're doing it. How are they trying to go viral? You know, definitely take some notes on all of the posts they currently made and specifically look at the ones that go the most viral, that get the most views, that get the most retweets, whatever it is. Look for those posts, okay? Take notes on what they're doing and then remix their content. Don't copy because if you copy, you're just gonna be a copycat. And trust me, I fell into this category at one point in time. Don't copy, but remix it and make it a little bit different. And this will get you started very, very quick. And this will get you results very quick. And it will actually help you find your niche uh, so that you can make content in the future in your own artistic way. Please don't try to be somebody you're not. Be authentic to who you are. People actually will follow you even if you're broke, you don't have money or you don't have any crypto experience. People will follow you. You can make very interesting content from someone that's coming from that perspective and you can get millions of followers as a broke non-crypto expert, I promise, even in the cryptocurrency industry. You just gotta think out of the box and be authentic to yourself. The name of the game is make content for as long as possible. If you're being someone that you're not, then you're going to be held accountable for that. I guarantee it. And it's going to be this big moment where you're going to have to figure out, oh man, do I still want to do this anymore after you've already developed all these follow all this following and stuff like that. Be authentic to who you are. You'll actually like making content. If you like making content, then there's a good chance that you'll continue to make it in the future, which will benefit you way more than any other tip I could talk about in this video. All right. So generate that list of influencers, 10 to 15, leave a comment below if you're done with that. And then seriously, guys, start getting to work, start making content. Which brings me to the second point. Guys, please, please don't get caught up doing the wrong thing. It's very simple. And this is simple for every platform. 
make very good content. It's that simple. I got caught up in all of the statistics, the numbers, the SEO, all these little tricks, you know, buying fake followers. Uh, you know, I've done everything. Buying the spam accounts that, you know, promote your thing, joining influencer groups. All of this is great. And don't get me wrong. It tells me that you're going hard and you're really trying. But at the end of the day, don't miss the big point. Don't spend 70% of your time doing all the other things. Spend 70% of your time making really, really, really good content and then 30% of your time promoting it and doing all of those other ninja tricks that everybody talks about on YouTube. This video is not for me to give you guys the short-term stuff. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. Mr. Beast and some of the best influencers on planet Earth say the same thing. If you just spend all of your time making very, very viral content, that's all you need and everything else will fall in line. The SEO is secondary, guys. The SEO, the stats, the little tricks, that's secondary. Just make very good content and that's all you need. For YouTube, that's making educational but fun videos. It's typically trying to keep up the, the click-through rate, which is your title, what is the topic about, how many people click your video because of how interesting it is, and then keeping their attention for a long period of time, which is the average view duration. On Twitter, it's going viral. Same thing with TikTok, you just gotta go viral. You gotta get a lot of retweets. You gotta get a lot of comments. You gotta get a lot of likes. These three things contribute to good content. So again, you can send it to the blogs and try to get them to retweet it, or you could just make a super viral piece of content like I did, Ripping Money. This was super polarizing and it attracted a lot of people to my post. Make good content, worry about everything secondary, Watch good influencers seeing what they do. Remix that content. You'll start getting a hand on what works and what doesn't work and just keep doing what works and stop doing what doesn't work. It's that simple. You just keep testing over and over again. When you're becoming an influencer, it's like having a lotto ticket that you don't have to pay for. Well, you're paying for it with your time, but every single time you drop this, video or this tweet, there's a chance that you can go viral and hit the lotto. So you can keep spamming it and eventually you'll understand what it takes to become viral. And then you should definitely take it serious by reading a couple of marketing books. Uh, take advantage of all of these things, guys. Like uh, treat it like a scientist, get obsessed with it, right? Once you get obsessed with going viral and actually trying to make good content, then it will start to work. Uh, but that doesn't come in day one. It doesn't come in week one. You must be doing it consistently and repeatedly over and over again, and you will eventually understand what's going on. Now, when it comes to post frequency, it's pretty much the same thing through the board on every social media. In the beginning, you should post as much as you possibly can. And this is not because it helps you go viral. Uh, you post as much as you can so that you can learn how to go viral. And then once you start learning what works and what doesn't, then you should slow down and just make really high quality content, okay? This is the best way I've seen people get started um, and you should use that to your advantage. Which brings me to the next one and it's the one I'm currently on. Now that I understand virality and I know how to predictably do it, I know how to predictably grow my accounts, there's a couple of other things you have to do, which is become kind of like a leader. So a lot of times people pay for credibility. So you see it all the time in cryptocurrency, people are paying for like Fox News, people are paying for like CNBC, Fox Business, Yahoo Finance, they pay for these videos uh, so they can look like an expert. You're kind of branding yourself as this person that you know could be whatever your niche is. It doesn't matter what your niche is. My niche is like fundamental analysis, kind of a researcher, analyst type of guy. So that's the branding I'm going for. Now, you could do this by making good friends and making good connections, which I think is the most predictable and I think it's the best way of doing it. So you guys see me make videos with BitBoy Crypto as well as like Richard Hart. These are very big channels. They're way bigger than me. And it's just through talking to these guys, they're really down to earth. They're not bad people. Um, you just have to offer them something that they don't have and they'll typically work with you or you could pay for it. This is what we've seen other YouTubers do. They pay for these big kind of like, uh, you know, press releases, which it costs way too much money, guys. It's like 30, 50 grand, some cases 100K. So I don't recommend this. But if you're just a really nice person and you help people out, right? You give them free exposure, um, you know, you, you have a conversation, you give them a connection, you're, you're just networking with people in your community, whatever it is, this will lead to opportunities in the future. Don't be a hater, man. Just because someone's bigger than you doesn't mean that, you know, they're better than you. They're just simply in a different place than you are. And, and this is not a competition. So 
So you guys can all help each other. And this is what I'm doing currently to take it way more serious. But yeah, in general, the last step is just to develop this big network of people in the space um, that you can grow from getting other people's subscribers or followers um, and just becoming a leader in general. That's the gist here. You have to become a better person and you have to become a leader. And this is why I like social media so much. Everybody thinks it's so fake and hollow. It could be fake and hollow if you take it that way. But if you're an actual honest person that's executing and becoming something significant, then yes, you should be able to lead people that want to learn what you're doing. It's as simple as that. And that's why I made my channel as true and honest as possible. Because if I faked it, I wouldn't want to be here. I wouldn't want to do this, right? So me, cryptocurrency analyst, entrepreneur in crypto, right? There's a lot of people that can benefit from the information that I have learned myself. So you must, and this is the biggest thing about every influencer that I say, you must become a better person. If you stay the same, if you stay st stagnant and you don't learn, you don't try really hard to become a better person, people are not gonna wanna follow you. You must develop these leadership attributes, okay? And this is why I say it's really important for every entrepreneur so you can grow in general. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Head on over to coinpix.io for the greatest fundamental analysis research on planet Earth. And if you wanna get involved with our actual strategies, our coaching, face-to-face -face coaching, and live Q&As, well, there's a link below as well. Five-day, $5 trial for fundamental secrets. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this, guys. Catch you in the next one.